start taking a deep breath together. I am laying flat, face down in the middle of the Himalayan forest. The whole world is shaking, nature is roaring. My womb gently pressed onto the earth. Why is everything around me moving? I see all the trees everywhere I look, changing shapes, colors, and size in my eyes. What is happening? Should I be scared, find safety? I am safe. My womb wants to stay on the ground. The power of the earth pulsing through my body is palpable. I surrender into each breath and tremble of the ground. Nothing like the biggest earthquake in Nepal to shake me into a new connection with my womb. Just in the middle of my idyllic hike down from the Everest Base Camp and the Tibetan nunnery I was volunteering at, Shaking out of me were the old identities and outdated stories I am holding on to. I am 16, running through the mountains in the Alps with the whole athletic team, including all the massive sexy boys from my high school we all have a crush on. I just went to the bathroom before my turn to run. And only a few minutes in, and I feel like I need to pee again. I try and I squeeze all the muscles I can find in my pelvis without luck. I am peeing myself as I am running. My pants totally wet. I hope they will all think it's sweat. My heart beating fast, face red with shame. I'm only 16. What's going on? I get myself in the car when I finish. I peed myself, and that was only the beginning. I pee myself when I jump on a trampoline. I pee myself when I sneeze. Not telling anyone not even my mom, I go to the urologist, and they, that they tell me to take medications, to take pills, or do Kegels, and if that doesn't help, I will have to have a surgery. What? At 16? Hmm. I don't have pelvic floor prolapse. I didn't give birth. And I am not a grandma needing incontinence pads. Excuse me, I'm only 16. That is what's rolling through my mind on repeat. What I do have is a competitive personality. The one who wants to achieve and prove from not being enough. The one who's taught to tough it up and keep it in. That is what's causing the tension and the contraction. Be the same gray mouse. Don't make too much noise. Don't bother anyone else. You cannot be different. Instead of being taught and shown how to love my body, how to empower myself, my gifts, and uniqueness of my soul as a teenager girl. Well, the pills or the Kegels didn't help, you might have guessed. And without surgery, my womb healing empowerment journey began, from the Amazonian jungle to womb shamans, 
countless self-help books and Taoist practices. Now to the highest peak and the deepest pulse of the earth. I am healing. The pelvic floor that once was hard solid as these rocks is now softening and pulsing or learning to pulse with nature. And me, I am learning to soften my edges and let the thousands of years of hiding my power blast me open. And now in the forest, dancing with the ground, I can feel the power of both of us. Another round of the tectonic plates moving with a huge surge of psychedelic strength in the Everest region. The earthquake I am experiencing is the biggest in history in Nepal, 7.8 magnitude. And I watch nature absorb the, the movement, the power, with such grace. Not even one tree falls down around me. I hear my womb whispering in the orgasmic wave of the earthquake. This, my love, is your power too. The sweet, blissful hug and fierce love of a mother. Holy fuck, I am scared. The power that can wipe out over 8,000 people out of the Earth's surface in blink of an eye. The one that can also create and destroy at the same time. <laughs> and the one that can hold the magic of creation with compassion, kindness, and care. How do I even begin to learn to use this power responsibly if it can create and destroy at the same time? How do I know when it's time to birth and create and when it's time to let go, let die, even destroy? My womb woke up that day and as scared as I was of my own power, I chose to listen deeper than ever. I rewire and rewild myself to the point where my womb becomes my wisdom and a guiding light for my life. <laughs> you see, women on this planet are taught to be like men, even some of the feminists. What we need is the womb medicine. Women who are connected to their womb, womb bends. The women, us, who are connected to the pulse of nature, to her rhythm, to our rhythm, to the seasons, to the changes. Most of the practices I found at the beginning of my healing journey were all masculine. I've done it all. I fasted for extended periods of time, almost escaping this planet, becoming a breatharian. I did nine days dark retreat, strict meditations and practices, all to control the mind, all to ascend. Most of the ancient practices we know and use today are guided or taught by a man, a man wanting to be united with Source. But what I learned by 
listening and connecting with my womb is that I am. Women are the source the creation embodied. We are the nature pulsing through the universe. We are the universe. We are the creatrixes. We don't need any external guides and practices. It's all right here. And that's what we need, is to connect to our feminine first. If I connect to my womb, listen to her, and honor her rhythm, the guidance comes from within, and the path just opens up. Womb wisdom is meant to be passed on from generations to generations, from grandmothers to mothers to daughters, and this oral tradition was stolen from us. I had to go deep within my own womb to reconnect to this golden thread of blood mystery that I and millions of women have been cut off from. <laughs> and I freaking succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> what I experienced by healing and empowering my womb is beyond magic. I have connected, and hundreds of my clients have, to the true source of their intuition. That goes further than any rational decision ever could. I know and am anchored within myself fully. I experience a deep sense of inner peace and surrender into the unfolding of my life. I bathe in bliss and full body orgasms myself or with my partner I could only dream of before. <laughs> there is a profound ease in my business and the way that I choose to serve and share my work. And I'm going with the current inside and out. <laughs> not going against it. I used to be that rock, trying to move rocks. Now I am the water, and I am the fire. I use the energetics and the power of my womb to cleanse, to shift and expand. Did I talk about the pleasure portals? When the womb is alive, she opens the channel to speak our truth. We are grounded in the body, and nothing can shake us from our deep inner knowing and wisdom. So how can you start your journey, your womb journey, or a woman you love? for the men in the audience. It is very simple, and you won't want to do it, because we are so conditioned to keep going in the way that we were taught, the way our society is teaching us, our family, our culture. These simple actions will be challenging. Your mind, your cozy self, will get louder. And it will say, stop, no, 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 no. Yeah. I hear so many excuses, like, hmm, the whole world is going to collapse without me if I take time for myself in these few days of my womb, of my moon time, of my period. Yeah. I cannot leave. Ah, my phone, my emails, my kids, and my family. What else can happen, right? What else we can come up with to hold us back from 
the true power that is within us. So all these excuses, distractions, and um, coping mechanism, because to stop, to pause and feel, it really takes something. In silence, deep listening and feeling will arise. all those silent whispers, and you can do that for yourself, of, I'm not enough, I don't want this anymore, I'm scared of everything, I'm freaking out, I feel uncomfortable, I cannot do this, and again, I cannot, what, leave my phone, <laughs> my, my family for a moment, the, the life that I'm living for a few days for myself, that will turn into the most profound shift in your life. All of this can become louder. And this might also happen to you. It is scary. It is new. And yet so, so ancient. And so, so us. We were born for this. Our womb is literally programmed to each month to clear, to cleanse all these thoughts and energetics. Our womb is like a sponge yeah, that sucks in and holds all, even all of our past lovers and partners. Even if we are in a long-term relationship, still the imprint the blueprint is there, and each month we have a chance to release all that. We have a chance to give it to the womb. And what it takes is to allow your womb to show you. And um, here is your womb journey. So what I suggest, or the first thing that you can do for yourself each month is to take one day off during your period and uh, that means without phone without um, people no to-do list just simply being breathing observing um, <laughs> and when you do this, you will tune in to the shifts that are actually happening inside of your body. And when you extend that to three to seven days to the whole cycle of the moon time, you really tune in to the most powerful process that can happen within the feminine body, not counting giving birth. <laughs> and this powerful action, I really wish that every woman takes that week at least once in her life for herself. This action will claim your right for a pause that is gifted to you each month by nature. Your body is programmed for this. Again, you will feel rejuvenated, energized for the whole month. That's how powerful it is. Number two, connecting to your moon blood. And I mean that literally. You take your blood, you paint with it. You take your blood, you create a stem cell face mask. No need for any expensive masks. You have it right there. Free bleed. Understand when the blood comes. It's not all the time, right? <laughs> Just get witchy with it. These actions, it creates raw, unfiltered connection that requires all the times that the feminine was shut from her power, burned alive for her stories, for her wisdom, and for her healing. 
And lastly, listen to your womb daily. You can just place your hands onto your womb, onto your yoni, and ask, take a deep breath, tune in. What does she want? What does she need? Um, I've had women going from totally shut down to blossoming and thriving just by these simple actions. Nothing fancy, a little bit weird for our modern society, <laughs> but I promise you will glow. One of my clients, Shoshona, came to me without ever experiencing an orgasm. I think she was 25 or 30. And only in a few hours after taking these practices home, I got a message, hey, I had an orgasm for the first time in my life. Wow. Only by listening to the guidance of her womb and of her yoni. Or Alison, she was an overworked financial specialist in London, living in a tiny flat, fancy but tiny, in London, um, trying to get pregnant. She tried everything, including IVFs, having miscarriages, just so much struggle. And through these wild womb empowerment practices, she is now a radiant mama of a baby boy who is traveling the world. And she just recently bought land in Costa Rica with her husband. Yeah. Or Katie, she brought in extra 40K in her business by learning to simply receive and be guided by her magnetic feminine energy and essence. It's not necessarily about these numbers or outcomes, but what truly comes. You cannot put a tag or a name to it. If every woman on this planet connected to her wild womb wisdom, this world would be a magnificent, thriving, place, a lush planet. <laughs> and this does not happen through vipassana, through fasting, through intensity for women, right? It happens through patience, softness, surrender, deepening and listening. Through nourishing and nurturing. We all need to find the mother, the goddess, the woman within ourselves. Instead of following the old power structures of lineages and systems and cultures and religion, and men leading the way woman leaning in to her sensitivity is where magic happens. We are the bringers of love and beauty. Every time I ask for what I need in a moment where I am sitting in a discomfort, in a struggle, in I'm cold or in pain. Every time I listen to my womb wisdom, my grandmother cheers for me from the other side and with her, millions of women who could not do this. When one woman heals, all women 
heal with her. It is a celebration for us all. Because every woman is a woman. And remembering this activates our creative magic. And it truly is our superpower. <laughs>